but we're doing all this for a purpose. Where does this, where does the client actually get value from? So through the software, like Evan was saying earlier, creating access. Um, one of the things that we do is we give um, all of our, <clears throat> the people that we do the inventory for, we give them all a basically a read only login. Um, so they can actually log into the, the website. They can see their trees. They can see what information that we've collected. Um, they can't change any data, but they are able to go through and actually kind of grab hold of this thing that they've just purchased. And I think that's a huge thing with a lot of people is be, being able to really create access, creating this, um, this basically forest in a cloud where they can kind of see what's going on out there. They can sit in an office all day and know that they have a tree right outside their window, but what's going on on the other side of campus. Um, the information is updated real time. So as if somebody's out collecting information or you're in the middle of the project and you're actually trying to collect the information uh, and, and see the information, uh, the client can actually see what's being collected, where are the hazards um, that are that are out on their site. Um, all this information <clears throat> will uh, come through real time just because it's, it's operated by the cloud. And there's also a history portion that is updated. So they're able to go back through uh, as the site manager, um, you're able to enter the history of the trees that you've actually worked on. So what, what work have we done to this specific tree over the last however many years you've been working on this site? So they can go back through and kind of see all that history. <clears throat> so like I said, visible reference, you know, you can, instead of just saying, um, you know, we need to cut these trees down or we need to fertilize all these trees along this road, um, it gives you a visible reference for the people who are actually making the decision to buy. So beyond just purchasing the actual initial inventory, um, <clears throat> Being able to log in, see where these trees are, see how it does, see how these trees actually are affecting this building or maybe this sidewalk. Being able to log on and see that information makes a huge world of difference because a lot of people are visual. They like to be able to see what's going on. So it gives you that visual reference uh, across the entire campus. <clears throat> Once the inventory is completed and you're actually working with them uh, on a management plan, um, or on a, on a service plan, budget management comes into play. So finding out what their budget was, like we talked about in the beginning, and then helping them work through all the, all the different factors that can affect your site as far as do we need to remove the trees away from the building? Do we need to create sidewalk clearance? Do we need to do some plant health care to keep everything healthy and disease and insect free as much as possible. Um, using their budget to the best of their ability and helping them decide on maybe they don't need to remove this tree that's way at the back of the property because nobody ever goes back there. But we definitely need to remove the deadwood out of these trees over the sidewalk. That'll make a huge difference on how they spend their money. And they're, create, they're feeling that value from making sure they're not wasting their money.